since we have posted all the transactions let us conclude the problem it is stated that Praveen's account is settled with 10 percent discount so whenever the account is settled let us see what we should pay or receive from this person now on the debit side we have 5800 so on the debit side we have the amount totaling to 6000 on the credit side we have amount totaling to 1500 okay so if you see our debit side total is more means Praveen has to give us money so how much he has to give us money 4500 so we are also giving him discount. So let us split this 4,500 into discount and cash. So 10% is the discount that comes to rupees 450. Now, so from 4,500, if you remove 450, you get rupees 4,050. So Praveen is giving us a cash of 4,050. Now. So when he is giving us cash, our entry would be cash account debit to Praveen's account. Cash account debit to Praveen's account. So from this, we are allowing him a discount of 450. That is, we are giving him a concession, which is a loss for us. So this loss of 450, if we have to journalize, it should be discount allowed to Praveen's account as if he has given us that cash. So uh, when we are imagining as if he has given us this cash, we have to credit his account because he becomes credit the giver. Now, so that is 450. We are crediting by his constant. The reason for crediting his account is discount allowed. So that's all, this transaction is, when nothing is stated, give the date as 31st March. So since this problem, it is stated that account is settled, we simply write the total which is more. Here it would be 5,000, 6,000 on both the sides, which we already calculated.